this half term, we've learned that Jesus was willing to die on the cross for us and that Jesus was sent to the cross by those he came to save. Now today is a sad story because we're going to look at when Jesus died on the cross. But it's also a joyful story because we learn that Jesus died to make a way back to God for us. It was Friday morning. Pilate had handed Jesus over to the soldiers to be crucified. That means to be put on a cross to die. The soldiers mocked and made fun of Jesus. They put a robe on him, made him wear a crown of thorns and pretended to bow before him, even though they didn't think he was a king. They hit him and spat on him. Then Jesus was taken to a place outside the city and was put on a cross to die. They put a sign above him which said, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Even though by now it was the middle of the day, there was darkness over all the land for three hours. And then Jesus cried out in a loud voice, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? After one of the soldiers had offered him a drink, Jesus said, it is finished, and then he died. At that moment, the curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom, and the soldier who was guarding Jesus exclaimed, surely he was the son of God. So why did Jesus have to die on the cross? He died to make a way back to God for us. You see, when God created people, we were made to know God and to be with him. But the very first people God made, Adam and Eve, they sinned and they disobeyed God. Their sin separated them from God. They had to leave God's presence in the beautiful Garden of Eden and angels and a sword stopped them from going back in. Their sin had separated them from God. It was the same throughout the Old Testament. God told his people to build a temple where he would live with them. But a big curtain in the temple separated the people from God. They were not allowed to go through the curtain into the most holy place. The curtain in their temple was a sign that their sin separated them from God. The curtain in the temple was still there in Jesus's day, showing the people that their sin separates them from God. But do you remember that when Jesus died on the cross, the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom? This curtain that was like a keep out sign showing that our sins separate us from God was ripped up by God. And now, because Jesus died, through him we can come to God. When Jesus died on the cross, he took all of our sin, the sin that separates us from God, and he took God's punishment for it all. So now when we say sorry for our sin and we trust and follow Jesus, we can come to God. This had always been God's plan that Jesus, his son, would die to make a way back to God for us. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So today, let's thank God that Jesus died on the cross to make a way back to God for us. <laughs> So today we've learnt that our sins separate us from God, but that Jesus died on the cross to make a way back to God for us. But that's not the end of the story, as I'm sure many of you know. So make sure you join us next time to find out that Jesus didn't stay dead.